Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT1000 Pro 2 1000 Watt Automatic Antenna Tuner. The AT1000 Pro 2 is one of LDG's most feature-packed tuners, so this video series will help you get the most out of everything the AT1000 Pro 2 has to offer. Before we show you how to install and use the AT1000 Pro 2, let's take a brief tour of its features. The front panel has two LED bar graph displays that show power and SWR levels, as well as report the operating status. Eight front panel buttons allow you to control the functions of the AT1000 Pro 2. Also, there is a bypass indicator LED and an antenna 2 LED. On the rear panel, the TXSO239 connects to the output of your linear amplifier. And there are two antenna jacks. The AT1000 Pro 2 has a built-in two-port antenna switch. Here's the DC input jack. And this jack provides integration with ICOM and Yaesu radios. This jack is a new feature for LDG tuners, the meter jack. It allows connection of the optional M1000 analog meter. Now let's take a look at how to install the AT1000 Pro 2. Installation is quick and easy. First, turn off your radio and amplifier. Next, connect a coaxial cable jumper from the antenna jack of the radio to the RF input jack on your linear amplifier. Next, Connect a coaxial cable from the RF output jack on the amplifier to the TX jack on the rear of the AT1000 Pro 2. Connect your antenna's coax feed line to the antenna 2 jack on the back of the AT1000 Pro 2. If you have another antenna, you may connect its feed line to the antenna 1 jack. LDG recommends that you also connect your AT1000 Pro 2 to station ground using the provided wing nut marked ground shown here. Connect the supplied DC coax plug to the DC power jack and connect that to a 12 volt DC supply. The center pin is positive. We'll show you how to hook up the optional ICOM and Yaesu interface cables, as well as the optional M1000 analog meter, in a later video in this series. Finally, be sure to hook up any amplifier control cables that normally go between your radio and the amplifier. We are now ready to begin using the AT1000 Pro 2 automatic tuner. Turn on your radio and select an operating frequency and mode. Make sure your amplifier is turned on and place it in bypass. If your transmitter does not have an SWR rollback circuit, turn down the transmit power to about 25 watts. Turn on the AT1000 Pro 2 and press the antenna button to make sure you're transmitting on the desired antenna. Now press the function button then the C down or auto button to make sure the tuner is in fully automatic mode. The LEDs will blink in the center to indicate fully automatic mode. If they don't, press the function button and C down auto again. Now that the tuner is in fully automatic mode and the desired antenna is selected, simply transmit and if the SWR is too high, the AT1000 Pro 2 will automatically begin tuning. On sideband modes, keep talking while tuning. Continue transmitting until the tuning cycle is complete. The LEDs will indicate a match. 
The first time you tune on a particular frequency, it may take a few seconds to find a match. After that, however, the next time you tune on that same frequency, the AT1000 Pro 2 will recall the tuning settings instantly from memory. Once the AT1000 Pro 2 has found a good match, you may place your amplifier back in the active mode and begin to transmit at full power. Hello CQ CQ. Hello CQ CQ. That covers the basic installation and operation of the AT1000 Pro 2. Stay tuned for more videos in this series which will cover advanced operations, interfacing to ICOM and Yesu radios, as well as the exciting new M1000 analog meter.